Dobar dan, nalazim se u crkvi svetih ravnopostolnih Kirila i Metodije u gradu St. Katarins sa mojim domaćinom, sveštenikom, protopresviterom Bogdanom Čolijem. Ovo je predivna crkva istočnog obreda, tako da mi, pravoslavni hrišćani, možemo da kažemo da mi tako lijepu crku nemamo, koja je sva freskopisana, uključujući i neke crkve, crkvenske patrijašije u Torontu. Možda imamo slične, ali baš tako lijepu nemamo, znači ona je još pravoslavnija od mnogih naših pravoslavnih crkava. Dear Father, thank you for giving us a tour, please. Okay, so I have five minutes. Okay. Because I have to open the door downstairs. Okay, so I wanted to first of all say that when Orthodox people come to our church from Toronto or from some of the states, they drive by and they say, Father, beautiful Orthodox church. Kada pravoslavni hrišćani dolaze iz Toronto ili iz okoline, kažu predivna pravoslavna crkva. And I say, it's a Greek Catholic church. Ovo je grko-katolička crkva, kaže otac. And they say to me, no, 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 Orthodox church, beautiful Orthodox church. And I say, no, Greek Catholic. And they say, Greek Catholic. So they cannot believe that this is actually a Greek Catholic church. So anyways, I want to show you a few things. Um... Obviously, Jesus is there where he has to be. Our Lady is with Jesus, with small Jesus on this side. And you always have the orange red on the inside for Jesus and the greenish blue on the outside. Jesus is first God and puts on humanity. Our Lady is first human being. She does not become God unless I want to shock Protestants and tell yeah. them. I would say she is full of grace. She is taking on God, taking on the, the divine grace. Then we have Cyril and Methodius. Those are the patron saints of this church. They're there. That's where you put the patron saints, usually in the Orthodox Church. And we know which one is Cyril and which one is Methodius because Cyril is having the Cyrillic alphabet in his hand. That's how we know. We have. Twelve apostles over there, and poor Matthias is missing because he's number twelve. But we have to find room for Paul. Paul is there with the sword because he was beheaded with a sword, but also because his preaching was like a two-edged sword. Peter is with a key because Jesus gave him the power of. Uh, Authority, you know, the keys. I gave you the keys. Uh, then uh, there are other apostles. I will not mention them. In the middle uh, of the iconostas, we have the important theological teachings. We have Our Lady with Gabriel. That's the incarnation, when God becomes flesh. We then have the Last Supper. We would have the mystery of the Holy Eucharist. Then above that, we have the mystery of the Trinity, represented by the three angels in the Old Testament visiting Abraham and Sarah. Very often that icon is just the angels without Abraham and Sarah, but here we have the hosts who are welcoming. And at the top, the mystery of the cross, which is another mystery of Christianity. So that is the middle aisle, middle uh, of the iconostas that captures so many of the main teachings of the Christian Orthodox Catholic Church. Uh, Amin. Amen. Amen. Uh, I have Amen. one question. Zahvaljujem ocu koji nam je predivno opisao njegovu crku. One question and after message to uh, our followers and those who are listeners. How to bring uh, people to the church, kako do, kako, uh, kako, how to bring youth to the church, and how to make them stay, and after the final message to our followers, how to bring youth to the church, Father? Um, I guess one way is just to be, become friends with them, even outside the church. Moramo biti prijatelji s njima, čak i izvan crkve. If they feel comfortable with me, ako se osjećaju udobno sa mnom, 
if they feel comfortable with someone in the church ako se osjećaju lagodno i fino sa nekim u crkvi then they are more willing to come maybe not every sunday but even come into the building because they will be with someone they feel comfortable with or they will feel comfortable with me they they see that i see them and they know that i know them uh, ako then they're not strangers in the church ako se ne osjećaju strancima ako se, ako poznaju nekoga iz crkve ili sveštenika i barem dođu u zgradu onda će doći jedan put ne mora i svake nedjelje i onda će polako se priviknuti početi da dolaze u crkvu uh, i want to say that jesus used to say in aramaic he used to say amen on je isus je govorio na aramejskom amen amen which means uh, let it be that way i neka let tako bude uh, dear father final message to our listeners what you would like to tell to them that was my last message the amen amen aramejski a, 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 poruka je amen i neka tako bude thank you dear father hvala vam dragi oče jako je dragi oče slava isusu hristu hvala na viki Okay. I have people coming downstairs. I have to open the door for them.